Zun Ahmed Khan, who is from Pakistan, has been living in China for nine years. She is a research fellow with the Center for China and Globalization, and a Tsinghua University PhD candidate. I visited her at her home in Beijing. While enjoying mooncakes and spending time with her cat, we chatted about her adventure in China and her thoughts on the country's development. She's witnessed China's transformation firsthand. And believes that the country's democracy system has contributed to its rapid economic growth and long-term stability. Chinese democracy today, especially in these years that I've been here, has evolved a lot to include in a better way the perspectives of people. So I think China's democracy is definitely very sophisticated in terms of how people's perspectives are taken in, how people are represented. Um, the fact that uh, Chinese people, this is one of my professors, even back in 2015, said in Western countries you'll say, "Okay, I have the right to protest whenever I want," but in China they'll say, "What is the outcome?" So in China, the people are more confident that the outcomes will be tangible; they will see results. So it's a more result-oriented,、um, you know, way of governance. It is includes including people's perspectives. It is definitely a system. Which is taking people's points of view into account through very,、uh, through proper, like on a very regular basis, and at the same time, it is enabling that experts from based on their practical experience, whether they're from the NPC or whether they're members of the CPPCC, where they have expertise in、uh, different fields. There's a cross section of society. Represented in the organizations that take those perspectives, amalgamate their professional expertise, and then propose policies. And then the most important thing is not just that the policies are receptive to the changes people want to see, or that they are based on expertise, not just empty promises like we see in so many countries. But the third part is there is accountability. So. I think the way to understand whole process people's democracy really is that there is a goal: make people's lives better, make the economy better, manage、um, you know、uh, people's growing expectations and the world, and then、uh, just have as sophisticated a system to make that achievable. It's very oriented towards results.